Example 1. DFT averaging. DFT averaging is a method used to reduce the noise variance in frequency domain DFT outputs. By averaging the DFT results bin for bin using dBV, decibels relative to a reference voltage, values, we obtain a more accurate representation of the low noise peak signals. This technique helps improve the signal to noise ratio in the frequency domain analysis, making it useful in various signal processing applications. Image 1 Raw and Rough Curve. This image presents a raw and rough amplitude VS time curve. The graph reflects the original signal without any processing, displaying variations and fluctuations in the amplitude over time. This unprocessed signal may contain noise, irregularities, or unwanted variations that hinder accurate analysis or interpretation. Image 2. Averaged and Smoothed Curve. Contrastingly, this image showcases an averaged and smoothed amplitude vs time curve. The graph represents the result of applying DFT, discrete Fourier transform, averaging to the original signal. By taking multiple DFTs of the signal and averaging their magnitudes, noise and irregularities are reduced, resulting in a smoother and more stable representation. Applications DFT averaging is widely used in signal processing to improve the quality of spectral analysis. It enhances the visibility of true signal components and reduces the prominence of noise or interference. This technique is particularly beneficial when dealing with signals corrupted by random fluctuations or disturbances. In summary, Example 1 demonstrates the effectiveness of DFT averaging in enhancing the quality of signal representation. By smoothing out fluctuations and reducing noise, DFT averaging provides a clearer insight into the true characteristics of the signal, making it an essential tool in various signal processing applications. Example 2. JPEG compression. JPEG compression relies on the discrete cosine transform, DCT, to achieve its compression process. The DCT is a mathematical transformation that converts an image or signal from its spatial representation into a frequency domain representation. It is a part of a group of mathematical operations that includes the well-known fast Fourier transform, FFT, and others. The primary goal of the DCT and similar operations is to transform a signal or image from one type of representation to another enabling efficient compression by removing redundant or less important information in the frequency domain. In JPEG compression, the DCT is applied to blocks of pixels in the image, and the resulting frequency coefficients are quantized and compressed to reduce file size while maintaining acceptable image quality. The left side of the slide showcases the original image with a bit depth of 1.6 bits per pixel. This higher resolution image retains detailed information and offers higher image quality. However, it requires more storage space and may have larger file sizes. On the right side of the slide, a compressed version of the same image is displayed. Despite the reduction in bits per pixel to 0.8, the compressed image maintains a minimal difference in quality compared to the original. This compression technique effectively reduces the image's storage requirements without significantly sacrificing visual clarity or fidelity. Image compression is crucial for efficient data storage, transmission, and sharing. It plays a significant role in various domains, including multimedia, web content, and medical imaging, where minimizing storage space or bandwidth usage is essential. Example 3. Noise filtering. Noise filtering is a series of processes used to remove or reduce noise from the data acquired on construction and infrastructure sites. When 3D data is obtained from various sensors or measurement devices, it may contain unwanted noise that can distort or interfere with the accurate representation of the site. To obtain reliable and precise data, noise filtering is applied to the 3D data. The filtering techniques aim to eliminate or reduce the noise while preserving the essential information. By effectively removing noise from the data, the quality and accuracy of the results can be improved, making it easier to analyze and interpret the acquired information for construction and infrastructure projects. 
The image illustrates the concept of noise filtering through signal processing, showcasing the transformation from an original spectrum to a deconvolved spectrum, resulting in noise reduction and a cleaner signal. Noise filtering through signal processing involves various techniques, such as convolution, filtering, and spectral analysis. By carefully designing and applying appropriate filters, it's possible to extract the meaningful signal components while suppressing or eliminating noise contributions. Kindly take the time to thoroughly explore this comprehensive module, as it will undoubtedly contribute to a deeper and more comprehensive understanding of the subject matter.